what's going on with you, Jalil? How you doing, bro? Good. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. You can hear us too, good? Yeah, I can hear you. <laughs> Are you wearing a jacket? This is my vest. This is the homie's vest. Oh, okay. You know? <laughs> it's a little... Yeah, shout out to the homie Gigi Denim, you know? Okay. Yeah. What's good? Where where you at right now? You I know we got the times mixed up yesterday. I'm in New York right now. I'm about to perform uh on Sunday. Oh, okay. oh really? Okay, cool, man. Yeah. Oh, for me. Oh yeah. Dwee, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. That's super dope, man. I I'm really I, I like your energy, dude. Uh oh, so thank you, bro. Um Thank you for making this interview happen. You know what I mean? Uh, mm -hmm. Videos and uh, when you was at Rolling Loud. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh, and man, the energy is just crazy. Yeah, bro, it's real raw energy, man. Always, every day. Yeah. You you gonna you gonna have you gonna have a new walkout this year? You gonna do something crazy? Oh man, I always have something up my sleeve, but you know. Just, just, just gotta perform every time, man. Just give it my all. Do it for the people, for the fans, you know, for the kids. Yeah, that's that's what that's what makes the show though is the energy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. that every show. Yeah. So, that's it's crazy, but yeah. If you guys don't know who Jalil is, go check him out. Go check out his footage, man. It's it's crazy. No, nah, thank you, bro. So, uh, you grew up in Rhode Island. Yeah, I grew up in Rhode Island, and then I went to school in Baltimore. Baltimore, okay, okay. Yeah. And so, how, how was how was life in Rhode Island in Baltimore? Because you, um, you <laughs> well, Rhode Island was you know Rhode Island is kind of it's boring, but that's where I'm from. But uh, it was just one of those states where you know, like everybody knows everybody, you know, so. It wasn't that it wasn't that crazy, you know. But growing up in uh going to school in Baltimore was cool, but coming to LA was lit. You know? Yeah. What and what took you out to LA? Like out of I, all the I wanted to make it in music, man. I wanted to 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 take Jaleel to LA. I wanted people to know who I was, you know, so I was like Actually, I'm just gonna take that one way flight. And I was homeless for a while, but you know, I thank God that I'm here and I'm I'm still going. So, so you yeah. were homeless at one point? Yeah, I was homeless for a grip, you know, because I didn't know anybody in LA. I don't ha I didn't have no music connections, you know. Yeah. And um Okay, so like your main goal was to go out to LA to do music, right? Yeah. yeah. Did you already have like a, like pretty much like a game plan together when you like when you first went out to LA or No, I didn't have a plan. I just had like vision. Like I knew I could do it, you know? So yeah. I feel like um I feel like God is just with me. So like I had a vision and I was like, I could do this. I'm gonna come out to LA. And then I came out to LA and I just was screaming Jaleel, ripping my shirt, you know, doing content on Instagram and, you know, still making music, still showing who Jaleel is. And then I hopped on TikTok and it finally started to grow. But I thank God for having a phone, too, because I was able to, to make content. Like, content was the only way I can actually eat, you know? So I'm thankful. You said what? I said, when did your career really start to take off? I would say my career started to take off like six months ago, I would say. And um, like it was, before. like it was way before that. But well, six, seven, like maybe even I, I feel like six months ago. What do you think? When my career started to take off. I think you're talking about when he really... Okay, yeah, yeah. I would say six months ago, you know, I was just... Bro, I worked so hard for this shit. <laughs> like, I really was just on TikTok every day pushing Dive In, bro. Dive In was actually at... What was it at? It was, like, at 100K for, like, 
three months and I just kept pushing it, pushing it, pushing it, you know, but like, I would say six months ago, because you gotta, you gotta put like the viral moments into fact as well. Like people, people are still finding out about me, you know? So it's just like, so many things are still happening. People are still like, who's this guy? Like what type of music he makes? You know what I mean? I'm still like, I'm still very new to people. So yeah. Oh, one love like your number one goal is to make it in music or did you like did you do any type of sports or anything like that because you're a pretty you said sports yeah did you play any sport you're a big guy man you play like football or anything like that nah, yeah bro i played everything football basketball track i was trying to play i was trying to play ball that's what i wanted to do i wanted to play basketball but hey it wasn't in god's plan so yeah <laughs> A professional baller at first yeah i wanted to but i'm happy it didn't work out you know this is yeah. way better that's crazy i would always think maybe something like football or something like that because you know your body type you're a huge dude bro you're, you're yeah a i'm a pretty big dude but you know i'm a i'm a i'm a pacifist i'm a i'm gentle you know i yeah. i i care about the people i'm not trying to hurt nobody <laughs> you I feel me what position did you play in basketball? Uh, I was a guard. You guard. know, I got some, I got some bounce. So I was catching body bags every day at the court. <laughs> you know. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No, that's super dope, man. Jalil, man. Uh, are you with a label right now? Are you signed to anybody? Or are you just independent? Yeah, I'm signed to 10K. 10K. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So. I, I'm I'm happy with them. It's been great so far, you know. So I'm lit. I'm ha I'm having fun. And and as far as like uh you know you being signed to to 10K and all of that stuff, like yeah. how they just like contact you, be like, hey man, we like your music. You know, we want you so, to come in and. So basically, Dive In was blowing up on TikTok, and um, I was also blowing up on TikTok. So I would say like they probably seen that and a lot of people were trying to, you know, talk to me and get at me, but uh, they just felt like the perfect fit, you know? And um, that's how it happened. I just really liked them and um, I felt like, it felt right. Some things just feel right, so yeah. Did out to you or did you have multiple labels that were trying to contact you? And I had um, multiple. I had multiple. Okay. Yeah. So it was cool. It was chill. I'm, I'm happy. I'm always mellow about uh, things like this, but I was just super thankful, you know? Right. Well, you seem yeah. like you, man. You're very, very humble. Very you too. Humble. You too, bro. Uh -oh. How's your Wait, say it again, my bad. It kind of cut out. So, with you having, like, Nigerian parents, like, how yeah. for, for you? My parents, are, my parents are Nigerian to the T. Yeah. I'm Nigerian. They're more, like, traditional and, like, or do they, like, support you more? So, like, it, yeah. yeah. So they support me. They definitely do support me. Um, when I first started doing music, like, they didn't, they weren't sure about it, you know, but I love them because they they really just want to, they're so proud of me, you know, and uh, I just want to make them happy. You feel me? You've done that already, bro. You've done that already. Yeah, I'm, I hope so. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, I, we, like I said, you've been out here. Uh, we've been checking out. And that's why we wanted to interview you because it was like, man, this this dude, I like his energy. It's your energy, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Real oh, raw energy, man. Yeah, real raw energy. That's what yeah. you can't. That, yeah, you draw people in with the energy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, facts. But the music, the music actually is hard. That's the yeah. thing. Like, the energy is one thing, but the music is is where it all comes down to. You know, so it's all it's all one. You're working on. 
like an album, new singles that we should know about? Yeah, so I just dropped a song called Delivered. It goes like, looking in the mirror, I'm bigger, go figure, there goes the window. It's out, you know, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep dropping singles, but hopefully dropping an album quarter one, January, hopefully. But that's the plan. And, you know, right now I just dropped Delivered. Everybody in here, go stream that. Go crazy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, deliver out now. See, bro just said deliver out. Thank you, Doughboy P. Appreciate you. Uh, super dope song. Um, yeah. Is there anybody in the industry that you're collabing with right now, too? Or anything um, like that? Any major artists? Oh, uh, yeah. So I've been working with Denzel Curry a little bit, you know. Uh, Ty Dollar Sign, you know. Like me and him have a couple songs together but uh no one no one else like Lil Nas X too I'm trying to remember I don't think anyone else but um just just cooking up creating you know but no one else like yet you know okay. yeah man Wait, wait, you kind of cutting now. What do you say, bro? I said, keep, I said, keep doing your thing. Keep oh, giving. Yeah. It, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, our radar as far nah. as you know, music all that kind of stuff, bro. And can st continue to stay humble. Yeah. Positive attitude, bro. And the only way you're going to go is up. Yeah, no, nah, I appreciate you, bro. That's the only way. That's, that's Jaleel, you know. Jaleel is humble. Yep. Jaleel is, yep. is, is himself, you know. Oh, IDK in here. What's up, bro? You know what I mean? Like, that's, that's a blessing. Yeah. Thank you, bro. I appreciate you, man. Yeah, most definitely. So, you know, you being an artist, too, how do you deal with mental health? Mental health? Okay. How I deal with mental health? I pray a lot, you know, and um, I try to keep close to God, you know. So, I, um, yeah, I'm always praying. I'm always... I'm always trying to help other people because when I help people, I, it helps me, you know? So always uh, giving to the homeless, always doing community work, you know? Like, you ever give something to someone that's less fortunate and you feel happy inside? Like, that's, that's how I deal with it. So um, helping people and uh, being there for people, you know? Yeah. Wait, wait, you kind of, you kind of cut off what you say. <laughs> if you have like any like organizations or anything like that, that you have started for. Yeah. I'm like, trying to help kids or yeah. anything like that. Yeah. I'm actually trying to, I want to make my own uh, organization. Obviously my brand is real raw, but like, I want to start something like a real raw foundation and maybe do, maybe do like a, like something on Friday for the homeless, you know, in LA or in New York, just giving to the community, maybe doing something for the high schoolers, the kids, you know. I just want to um, keep helping the people that, that need it, you know. Because I used to be there. I used to be, like, homeless as fuck, bro, you know. But I just want to be there for them, you know. That's what it's about. It's never been um, – it's never been – being the biggest artist has always been making an impact and helping others, you know? So um, I just want to continue to do that. Like, if I know you guys are just needing me, but I'm really like a selfless person and I try to be there for people. So, yeah. Yeah, someone said encouraging the youth, yeah. That's what it's about, you know? I feel like, uh, and I feel like we need more of that too. Yeah. Exactly, you know. Um, I mean, I there's a lot as it as they do right now, but you know, like what you're saying and what you want to do is what's going to change the industry. You know what I mean? Yeah, facts. You know, helping people out. You know, start organizations and foundations. We have those type of things already, but mm -hmm. like what you're doing, I feel like it's gonna it's gonna be different from everybody. Doing it. Yeah, yeah. I want to change the world, man. 
Make an impact. Impact, impact, impact. You know? I want, like, I want people to be like, yo, Jaleel changed my life. Like, I want people to be better than me, though. Like, like I don't want people to be like, oh, I want to be like him. I want people to be like, I want to be better than Jaleel, you know? So yeah. I I really want to just, like, any any time I, even when I wake up, like, I just be like, how can I, how can I do something that make people happy? Like, maybe I'll go drop a song or scream, Jaleel, yeah, or, like, yeah. You know, when I'm performing, like, like I hit a backflip and people get hype. You feel me? Yeah. So it's 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 always about them. I never thought about um. You said what? Have you ever thought about like just doing like acting too? Of course, get, yeah. Get shows, movies, and stuff like that. Man, I'll do I'll do everything, man. Acting, you know, being in movies. Being in the WWE, hey, I'll do that. I'll, I'll make an I'll make a guest appearance. You know, I'll do everything, man. Hop, put me in, coach. I'll be in the ring too. What's yeah. up? <laughs> yeah, man. I can definitely see you like having like your own like your TV like a TV series. Yeah, man. Yeah. They'll call it Jaleel, yeah. <laughs> It'll call yeah probably man. Yeah, I want to have my own gym. I'll, I'll, I'll call it the. Jaleel Jim, you know? Yeah, hey, do Jaleel it. Jaleel's have some cereal. Obviously, we got the Jaleel juice. <laughs> <laughs> that was the, you know what I mean? Yeah. Have that, you know, the liquid, like water. Yeah, yeah. I can't spill yeah. the sauce, though. I can't spill. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you, need a, you need a Netflix original, for sure. Yeah, facts, facts. You need Netflix original, for sure. When, is, when, uh, when are we going to get a documentary? Man, maybe when the time is right. I feel like I'm still, God is still writing Jaleel's story, you know? So um, my story is still, still being written. So when the time is right, you feel me? Yeah. I don't know that, but I know it's going to be a great one. Yeah. How, how old are you, Jaleel? 26. You're 26. Wow, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, My face, okay. I'm still young now. I don't care. I'm still happy, you know. It's all you're, about, it's all definitely about you're how you keep us. yourself healthy, huh? Yeah, you're young you're younger than us, so Oh yeah, we we young cats right here. Yeah, man. <laughs> you got you got plenty of time to do what you plenty need to of do. Time. Yeah, bro. Plenty of time. I'm, I'm happy too because I'm mature now and I know more, you know. But when I was younger I didn't know a lot and I was very impatient. Yeah. But now I know myself. So, yeah. So you said that your uh, your next show is Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. It's okay. um, Rolling Loud. Okay. New York. Yeah. Rolling Loud, New York, man. That's going to be crazy amazing. Uh, I, I'm, we're we're going to have to come and check you out live. I want to actually, I got to come out and check you live, man. Yeah, I pull have up. To see, I have to see you live. Yeah, bro. Pull up. It's going to be a movie. For real. Yeah. We're gonna have, yeah. we're gonna have to try to link up and do something and see if we can come to one of your shows and see it live because yeah. just, just seeing the video is super energetic but I I want to actually be on stage and you actually doing backflips and all that kind of stuff bro I, I want to see it bro yeah bro it's a movie That's for real part. yeah most yeah. definitely no thank you bro yeah. but Jalo we really appreciate uh, you joining us on the live and uh, allowing. Yeah. You and uh, and get to know you a little bit more and about your life and stuff, uh, yeah. especially for our fan base too, uh, because we have posted about you a few times. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, we have posted about you a few times. But um, you know, we want people to know like who you truly are. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And where your mind is set at, especially being in the uh, in this type of industry. Yeah. Uh, so. Thank you for posting too. For sure. I appreciate it. Yeah, um, keep doing your thing, bro. Keep being energetic and keep inspiring the youth. Yeah. I won't stop, bro. This is just the beginning. Trust. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're one of, you're you're one of the more, the most humble guys that I, I have I've talked to that are in the industry. Yeah, yeah. man. Hey, I don't have I don't have no ego, bro. You know. 
I'm just happy to be here. I'm supposed yeah. to be here. Yeah. You know? But I'm happy to be here. Thankful. For real. Bro. Bless yeah. it. Bro. Keep in, keep in, we're going to keep in touch with you, but make sure to keep in touch with us, too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Definitely, bro. I'm going to follow y'all right now, too. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. And y'all make sure to go check out Jaleel. No, Do thank it. you, bro. For time. Jaleel. Oh, the Jaleel. <laughs> Uh, Real, yeah. <laughs> rock oh, hey, Rock. Awesome. We appreciate Real, Real Raw Energy. Yes, sir. I appreciate you too, bro. All right, man. You take it easy. You have Thank a you, bro. Peace, y'all. Love y'all in the comments, too. Doughboy P. Appreciate y'all. Bezel, Miss Panizo, everyone. God bless y'all. Be safe. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. Peace, bro. Hip Hop Now TV, Hip Hop Now 104.9. Hey, we out.